Hey guys, Black Ninja 797 here, and today's video this is going to be a breakdown Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, the Horizon Direct trailer that just released today as I'm recording this video. And um, basically, um, in today's video, I'm just going to be breaking down what I saw in the trailer and giving my opinion on it. And um, basically, um, Horizon Drac reminds me a lot of Origins, Mob of the Dead, Moon, and Ascension all put together in one map. That's basically what this map seems like to me. And um, I bet you guys, once this map comes out, that everyone's going to be making videos about it. Because this map looks like it's going to be a fan favorite. That's just my opinion, but you guys can uh, disagree with me if you want. But ba basically, um, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be breaking down what I saw in the trailer. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, basically, let's begin. So in this part of the trailer, it looks like we have like this kind of like um, dinner room or something like that. I'm not really sure what this room is, um, but um, it's a really fancy looking room. Um, I only just think it's a dinner room just because of the satellite, not the satellite, the <laughs> derp, um, the uh, chandelier um, in the uh, middle of the room. Um, but basically, um, in the room, you guys can see that there is um, like this like weird looking generator thing in the middle. And um, who knows, maybe it's a lot like um, Origins in this map, um, where um, the power, uh, you have to um, activate it by um, going to these generators across the map and stuff. And um, who knows, maybe it also might be a trap, um, we're not really sure yet. Um, but um, those are just two theories I wanted to throw out there. And also, it looks like Speed Cole is in this room underneath the staircase over there on the right. Um, so this is where Speed Cole is, for those of you guys that are wondering. And um, this map looks pretty sweet. Um, I actually like all the um, like um, simple little things that they put in, like the chandelier and um, like, little like knickknacks and stuff to make the map look even more detailed and stuff. I really like this map. Now, when I saw this part of the trailer, I was not only shocked, but I was also hyped at the same time. So the Panzer so bad is going to be returning in your eyes and draft, which is absolutely amazing. So there was leaks about this, but I didn't want to like say that this was confirmed until I knew it was confirmed by like Treyarch and stuff like when they put like, in a trailer or something. But it looks like the Panzer is coming back in the Rise and Direct. So it looks like this is the first time that we're getting a boss returning in zombies. Unless you want to count the Hellhounds, but um I really don't count the Hellhounds just because they're not like a boss boss. There's kind of like um side bosses to me. Like not like the the boss, like the toughest like person that you can fight. They're just kind of like stronger than just the normal enemies that you come across. Well, it really just depends on the way you um, look at it, but um, I look at them not really as bosses. I just look at them as kind of just like, um, enemies. but um, anyways. So, um, the Panther's coming back and drives the dragon. It looks like he got a little bit of an upgrade. If you guys actually look at his left arm, it looks like his left arm is now a minigun arm instead of a flamethrower. Um, because um, it looks like it's got like, um, like a turret look to it and stuff like that. So, it looks like the Panther's gotten a little bit of an upgrade. So maybe he's been buffed recently um, for Horizon Direct. Um, maybe that's why um, he looks a little bit different. Um, but um, also, it looks like his uh, right hand still the claw. Um, it looks like he can still shoot uh, a claw, and grab you, and pull you closer so he can kill you. Um, but I don't think he has the flamethrower anymore, or either that. He just had his arm look like that the whole time. I never noticed. But the pants coming back in Horizon Direct. Now this part of the trailer, we see a rocket taking off. Now I'm pretty sure this is a part of the Easter egg. Um, because I don't think this is going to be like a trap or anything, I highly doubt it, but um, there is a rocket taking off, and there is a um, gobble gun machine over there in the right corner, um, so it looks like that this is going to be like a part of the map um, that you can access um, an easter egg step because the doors here are opening and stuff, so um, this is pretty cool, it looks like uh, we are getting a little bit of um, part of the easter egg in the trailer. So not only is the Panzer Sobat returning, but apparently the Death Machine is returning also. This is absolutely amazing. So I'm not really sure whether this is a drop or a mystery box weapon yet, um, because if you guys remember um, in Mob of the Dead, the Death Machine actually was a, a box weapon instead of a drop. Um, so um, who knows whether this is a box uh, weapon or a drop. If it is a box weapon, that means we can pack a punch it, which is really, really awesome. We can make it into the meat grinder. And um, the fact that the uh, Death Machine is coming back, whether whether it's a drop or a box weapon, it really doesn't matter. It's just it's just awesome to see the death machine again because now you can like feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger just run around with a giant Gatling gun just destroy zombies. This is just absolutely awesome. Now this is really, really cool. So apparently there's like this catapult thing that you can actually buy on Horizon Direct, or you can just activate it. Um, I'm not really sure yet, because like they didn't like show it says like um press sub X to buy this for um, a certain amount of points or anything. But um basically um there's this little thing that can fling you across the map in Horizon Direct, which is really really cool. And um it looks like you can get it pretty early on too, because the character here has the Shiva, and that's the uh, first wall buy, or either that or you just bought the Shiva in general. Um, but, um it looks like there's a cat thing in the map that will launch you across the map and it's really really cool um the character is actually really high up in the air right now and um your character will fly um and land in that little hole right there on the left um side of the screen um where that little uh, top is and 
that's really, really cool. I can't wait to use this thing. So it looks like that we can also use Outriders um, Sparrow in the uh, Dragon Drake as well. This looks really, really sweet. So it looks like um, they took Outriders um, Bow and Arrow or Sparrow and made it like all like um, castle and medieval themed. Uh, like the uh, arrows on fire and the bows like all like old school and stuff. And it looks really, really sweet. So we're most likely going to be able to only obtain this through um, an Easter egg, kind of like how you can get the Annihilator on the Giant um, by doing the Flytrap Easter egg. Um, but this looks actually really, really sweet. It looks like um, kind of like like, um, the Sparrow, but, um, just, like, old school. And, um, also, I want to point out one more thing. Um, up in the left corner, um, there's actually a perk up there, and, um, it looks a lot like Speed Cola again. Now, I don't know if that's Speed Cola or Mule Kick. It could be Mule Kick, but it looks a lot like Speed Cola to me. And, um, uh, if that is Speed Cola again, that means we do have random perks, um, on the Rising Drac, which I'm not a fan of, um, but I could be, uh, wrong with the, uh, shouldn't jump to conclusions, but uh, I just wanted to point that out. Um, but, um, yeah, there is a perk up there, because you guys can see the green light. And, um, if that's Mule Kick, that means it's just Mule Kick. But if this speed call, we do have random perks on Drive and Drag. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already knew about this, but I will explain this for those of you that didn't know. A little bit, uh, a while ago, um, Zombies YouTubers were, like, looking at pictures of Drive and Drag, the poster that you can get from GameStop and stuff. And a lot of people were saying that Wonder Fizz would be returning. And it looks like they were right. So, Wonder Fizz is in Drive and Drag. And, um, that's pretty cool. So, that means we most likely perks that will um, not be available on the map like in the machines um so like for example we might be able to get dead shot or uh stamina up or um phd flopper even um so that would be real really cool although if phd flopper did return i don't know how it would work because you can't dolphin dive anymore so they might have to change it or either that or they'll make it so that way you can dolphin dive the moment you have phd flopper but I don't know if they would be able to do that, but that'd be kind of a weird thing to do. Um, to like make so that way you go from a slide to a dolphin dive. I don't even think they have that in the uh, coding anymore for a dolphin dive. Um, but um, yeah, there is Wonder Fizz, and that's pretty cool. So it looks like there's also going to be booby traps on the map as well. It looks like that there's actually like this gate thing that will actually kill zombies when they walk through. Or it looks like it's on a timer and just will kill anybody that walks through in general. Um, but this looks pretty sweet. I think that this will actually be a really fun trap to use, or it's a really fun thing use and it looks like there's also a gum machine in here so it looks like you can get the gum in here but it looks like that this is a um, risky spot to go to because it looks like this thing will crush players or at least i think it will i mean, even though in the trailer that the player that ran through didn't get crushed i think that it could be possible because it reminds me a lot of the uh, thing from shangri-la uh, if you guys know what i'm talking about but um yeah this is pretty cool so this is really cool it looks like we're going to be having the heads from uh, Mob the Dead returning, like the uh, evil dog heads that were on the wall, except that they look like they're dragons now, which is absolutely amazing. So, um, maybe if we feed all three dragon heads, that's how we get the sparrow, or maybe we might even get the health retriever, even. Um, but this is really, really cool. This was actually one of the funnest things to do in Mob the Dead, in my opinion. Mob the Dead had a lot of fun things that you could do, but it looks like the dragon, or dog heads, or whatever you want to call them, are back in Derives and Direct. Now, I don't know why that this is going to be in Derives and Direct, but either way, this is just like absolutely amazing and hilarious at the same time. So apparently you can get the gravity spikes in Derives and Direct. Now this is absolutely amazing because like when I saw the trailer when the guy gravity spiked the zombie, they went flying. As you guys can see, they're like way high up in the air and there's corpse launching everywhere. Now the uh, gravity spikes really don't make a lot of sense to like be in this map, even though that trailer is trying to make them seem like that because they like make all medieval themed. Um, but um, either way, this is really, really fun, and I bet that everyone's gonna use these to make funny moments. I also bet that when Jake and Parker find out about this, they're gonna laugh at this off and be super excited to use these things. But anyways, guys, this is gonna be today's video. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like on the video because it helps me out a lot, and subscribe to new around here because that's really appreciated. And it'll also let you guys know when I'm uploading another video about the Awakening DLC. But anyways, guys, this is gonna be today's video. I'm out. Peace.